Ladies and gentlemen, referee Mark Goddard has stalled a stop to this contest at four minutes and nine seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by rear naked choke, Luis de la Samurai Smoker! Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I'm here with your winner. Louis Smoker, that was a fantastic performance, a real back and forth exchange on the floor. Paddy was a real game opponent and obviously had the crowd on his side here. What was it like stepping into a main event in the last minute and taking on such a fan favorite? It was surreal, you know, um, this honestly, like, Ireland, you guys might hate me right now, but I love you guys. Um, I, um, I can't wait to go out and party later, drink some Guinness, some whiskey, Ishma. You know, one thing I will say about the Irish fans, I learned this from the last event. It doesn't matter whether you win or lose, if you give it everything, they will, they will cheer you for it. And you gave it everything. You gave a fantastic performance, as did Paddy. Just listen to this crowd, that's for you right now. Just what do you got to say to these guys? Thank you for coming out and supporting, you know. Um, the, this is a packed arena and the energy is incredible. You guys are amazing fans, man. You guys drive the sport. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Louis Smoker. Tell a couple of words, Paddy. Just talk me through what's going through your mind right now. Give a word for these fans, because they love you. Wow. I never come out here and say I'm the best. I never said I was born gifted. But I tell you one thing, when I do come out, I give you everything. You know, although it was a loss, it's a real special moment still. Your main event in Dublin, you gave a really good account of yourself. The grappling exchanges were really back and forth. Tell me about your experience fighting Louis Smolker and, and what, your experience, what, what your thoughts are of his opponent now. <laughs> it was kind of like one of them PlayStation games where you make yourself. You know what's going to happen, and it's just happening ahead of you because he's thinking of it too. But uh, it, was a good, it was a real good fight. I kind of I enjoyed it, but uh, this week has been crazy. I started off here opening the main card to becoming the main card. And guess how many times I was asked? None. I woke up and found out in bed. I was the co-main event, then I was the main event. We should have been rightly slow. But hands off to Lewis. He came here and did the job in my own backyard. So obviously that was disappointing, but there's, you know, you've got a long career ahead of you, you've got a lot of work to do now. Obviously there's things you can take from this fight to learn from, so where do you go now? What do you want to do next? I'm going to have a cup of tea. A cup of tea, that surprised me, I was expecting something a bit stronger. The last time I stayed here, I was standing with Dan after my win, and the whirlwind trip across the world we have had since then has been, has been crazy. And my number one love has been MMA and my son. And I just kept the ball with them close. And no matter what happened, I kept trucking forward.